Oh, I was not planning on going live today. Been pretty busy, but wanted to give you guys some update stuff I just picked up. Some awesomeness, awesomeness stuff. Lance, what's up, buddy? PJ's Diecast, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Total last minute. Um, definitely wasn't planning on doing a live stream, but I really wanted to give you guys an update on a couple things I just picked up um, from my good buddy Alan. So, uh, Monster Jam, Zachary Allen, what is up, buddy? William in the house. Red Outlaw, 1911, what's up, buddy? Carson Combs, what's up? Ford Fan Diecast, my dude. Welcome to the stream. Total last minute. Um, I was just going over the fact, like, yeah, I wasn't planning on going live. Live or die cast. Brandon's in the house. Painting a custom. Clone Republic, what's up, buddy? Uh, let's see. You got the Subaru Collector from Facebook. Alex, my man. What's up, buddy? Ooh, we got a Montreal, Canada. Welcome to the stream. Rudy Moons. Rich Green, my man. Sammy's in the house. We got Mystery uh, mystery Bladder Collector and Hot Wheels Brother. What's up, buddies? So, <laughs> interesting day today. Um, I got a majority of my stuff set up. Um, we got Carson Combs in the house. Finally got his first treasure hunt or super treasure hunt. Nice. Congrats. Uh, Lance says a guy got mad today at Walmart because he missed a drop for Hot Wheels. Early bird gets the worm. Early bird gets the worm. Um, room is looking awesome. Thank you so much. This is the little corner. I might use this one uh, more for the stream just because I got the big uh, logo hanging up in the back. Um, but anyways, guys, so just met up with a buddy of mine that I recently met in person. Um, I talked about him in my last live stream. His name is Alan totally an awesome collector in this area so um if you guys saw the post of uh, those two big boxes of just extras i had um i had them in my truck i was gonna meet up with a guy that wanted to uh kind of see what i had um i was gonna trade or sell or just just start giving what they need you know so um i met up with alan at target and i actually went in there real quick to see what they had and I finally got my hands on the GR. Look at that. There we go. I know a lot of people have found this. I am super late to the <laughs> to the game on this series. Um, but I still can't find the Corvette. But um, for those that may have extras or whatever, don't send me one. I do want to find it in the wild. Even though I appreciate you guys looking out for all the other collectors out there. I love still going out and finding them. Um, and trying to catch them so I'm still on the lookout for the Corvette C8 um, definitely an awesome casting but finally let's see who's all tuned in we got Wayne Parker aka Batman what's up buddy hopefully you get your custom soon I know it oh man I think I did that custom back in what oh like July or August so I definitely apologize it took so long to get to you uh, did Jake and in the house what's up buddy uh, what other things do you collect r uh, rather than Hot Wheels? Um, anything die cast. Johnny Lightning, M2s, um, Auto Worlds, Maisto, Barago. Anything that makes a die cast, I collect. Um, he's the Mustang Hunter hunting a Corvette. Yep, <laughs> exactly. But I'm a gearhead and I'm just a car enthusiast that just hunts every car that I would love to have in real life. And which I can't do that. I might as well collect the die cast. So, um, but anyways, back to the story, guys. So I, I went to Target, found the GR Supra, um, met up with my buddy Alan. He was looking for some uh, Ferraris, and you guys know I have a lot of Ferraris. Um, I went through everything, found all of my extras, which I have also aside um, a stack for Ivan over at 55 Gasser. He's been wanting to get some Ferraris in his collection. Um, and I just want to help him out. So I put those aside. I'm sending those to Ivan. Um, and then I also set another stack of Ferraris to the side for my buddy Alan. So uh, we met up, gave him the Ferraris, gave him some loose ones. Uh, I think there was a Berlinetta in there, a couple of good ones. 
Um, and he hooked me up with the 64 Super, the Nova Gasser. Um, so luckily I had a case that I was able to sacrifice just a regular treasure hunt and put this one in there. So there we go, guys. We finally got the 64 Nova um, out of that one. So um, like I said, I had those two giant boxes of die casts and I was like, you know what? Let me hook this dude up. I just really wanted to just gift it to him. So I was like, hey man, do what you want. Um, you can do whatever. There were some uh, super trofeos, a couple treasure hunts in there, a bunch of my extras. So I gave him one of the giant boxes just to be, you know, just pay it forward. Um, and he was stoked. He is an awesome freaking dude. So the way we met, like I mentioned last week, um, we were both at Walmart hunting. I didn't know who he was. We just saw each other um, hunting, and uh, we were talking about the super ch or the chase for the American scene or the uh, Corvette one. And he was he just recognized my voice and just asked if I was the Mustang hunter. And then we started talking. Um, he's been watching my channel since Arizona, so I thought it was super cool. Um, so gave him the box, and then my man, my man came back and uh, he threw in a loose super of the Lamborghini Aventador. So check this out. Even this loose casting right here, guys, is still going for high dollar. Never found this super out in the wild, but I do have the main line for it, the basic one. So there we go. We got the loose super treasure hunt Lamborghini Aventador J. Um, and then, he had a M2 chase, and you guys know um, I'm huge on finding Mustang chase pieces. I bought this off of him, and here we go, guys. It's a 500 piece. It's the Chip Foose 1970 Mustang Gambler. Look at that. Now, it is a 500 piece. You have the 500 piece right here, so 500 of these in the world out of the production. Um, but you can't really see... Um, that it's a chase because everything is blacked out. It is all just blacked out. Typically, um, they would have gold pieces like, let's see, let's let's go ahead and bring you guys with me real quick. Let me take you off the tripod. So typically when you have an M2 chase, you have like these right here with the gold accents, the gold rims. Um, and then recently, they've been going this direction. This is also a 500 piece chase, the Mach 1, and it just has blacked out wheels, blacked out accents, and all that stuff. So it looks like they went that route again with this one. So there we go, look at that. It's a 514 Gambler, awesome detail in there. It is so freaking clean, but, <laughs> It doesn't end there, guys. Does not end there. So, um, there's a lot of good collectors still out there, guys. So, usually, typically when you're out hunting, I know you feel the same way I do. Um, you see someone in the in the aisles and you're already thinking like, you're trying to put them in a category. Are they collectors or is he a scalper? Like, you kind of like scope them out for a little bit. Um, but, uh, no, this dude, Alan, is... He's a legit man, like he just wants to collect. He's built some awesome nine packs and multi packs of bone shakers. Um, he had the Batman nine packs. He had all kinds of stuff. He was showing me in the parking lot. So bought this off of him. Um, and then as we were talking, kind of, you know, getting off and uh, mentioning how the die cast community has kind of changed a little bit, it's shifted. Um, there are still great collectors out there guys so don't <laughs> don't think that everyone's joined the dark side he wanted me to really highlight that because it's definitely something that um really needs to be talked about is because a lot of people think that just because you see someone in their buying stuff doesn't mean they're selling or reselling are they out there yes they're definitely out there there's a lot of resellers now, if you see them on their phone and they're pricing and looking at what they have in their hand, most likely they're resellers, um, possibly scalpers, but sometimes they might just be looking like, oh, I don't know what case this is out of. So don't just be quick to judge. Um, I didn't judge Alan. He just seemed like a cool dude. We were hunting. I was hunting you know, next to him, and then we started talking, and then there we go. Solid freaking dude. So 
to top it off, as I was leaving, my man was like, hey, hold up real quick, one second. He hooked it up. My man hooked it up, guys. Now, you already know Ferraris and Hot Wheels are no longer a thing. Um, so this piece is definitely sweet. You guys want to see what he hooked me up with as a final, final going away or parting ways for today's meetup? You ready? You want to know what it is? Look at this. Boom. Look at that, guys. The Ferrari 550 out of the Hot Wheels. I think it's a 118 scale. Maybe it's not a 118, but uh, I don't know what scale it is. But it is from 2000. So there we go. This is a 20-year-old Ferrari Hot Wheels in a large scale. Check that out. And you still have the 90-day warranty little paperwork in there. The 124, okay, so yeah, it might be, yeah, I think it is 124. Definitely, because uh, what are these? What scale are the M2s? I don't even know what scale the M2s are. But anyways, look at that. So, of course, me, I'm like, no, man, like, <laughs> you don't have to throw this in there. You don't have to throw it in there, but um, he felt that it was the way it should be, you know, like, we met up, we traded, or yeah, we traded. I bought something off him. I gave him a box just to be, you know, I just wanted to be nice and just be like, hey man, do what you want. I don't care if you sell it. I don't care if you do customs. I don't care if you drill them and use them all as wheel donors. I just wanted to pay it forward because they definitely, I definitely didn't need them in my collection because they're all extras and duplicates. So um, the best thing, give it to somebody. So if you guys are in that same boat and you have multiples, and I know it does cost to like ship out stuff, but if you're doing a package for someone or doing a trade, just set that box off to the side and then throw them, throw them in a box as you go. Um, a lot of you guys had that great feedback because I was asking like, what should I do? Should I sell it? Should I just randomly gift it? Um, a lot of you said I should use them for racing, which I do still have another box and two boxes still full, two 50 gallon totes still full of cars that I can use for racing and opening up and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so Alan, huge, huge shout out to you, man. There are some still great collectors out there. So locally, um, there's four guys that I I definitely like to, to work with, talk to, trade with, all that stuff. There's Bob, who's at the Trader's Market. He's the one that does all the wheel swaps and customs. Um, then there's Matt. Uh, he is, he's another vendor there, very reasonable in selling. You know, he doesn't sell everything for like five, six bucks. You know, he'll sell a car for like a dollar fifty, two bucks, and depending on the era and how hard it is, yeah, you're gonna pay the price for it. Um, and then, of course, you got Alan. Alan's my new homie, um, so definitely gonna keep an eye out for stuff he needs. Maybe we can work out future, future trades and all that good stuff. Um, and then, of course, you got my boy Rich. You guys already, you should know Rich by now, because that man has sent me some or gifted me amazing things. Like, I can't even thank them. So, four local dudes in the community that are just awesome. Um, so, I was able to pay out, pay forward that big box of die cast. And in return, we got, of course, I bought this off of Allen. But there we go. The 500-piece Chase Foos Mustang. Definitely a sweet one. The 550 Ferrari Spider out of Hot Wheels. And then, of course, um, you got the Super 64 Nova Wagon and the Loose Super Aventador J. There we go, guys. Um, so, yeah, definitely a great day. Um, I did find this little beauty at the Trader's Market. It's a Texas State Patrol or State Trooper, Texas State Trooper motorcycle. Now, you guys know I'm from Texas, so when I find a car with the DPS livery, I'm gonna buy it. I have a Fox body with the Texas department. Um, now I got a motorcycle and a couple other ones. So there we go, there we go. And then of course, finally got the GR Supra. It does look good though, that livery is nice. So yeah, definitely a great haul. San Antonio, there we go, yep. Born and raised. So just to give you guys a quick update, I am gonna do 
a video which is going to kind of go over my collection but uh let's see what we got right here so this is the new wall of um cars that i put up all of this is trucks starting with the off-roads you got the ramps the ramp trucks right here you got all the mini trucks um, of course i found this one after these two i found well after i put all these up so you got the silver autos all the color variants and the zamac up to the latest release um, you got all the jeeps all the ford raptors from rich f-150s you got the Raptor Rangers, Cyclones, even the 52 Chevys and the Latrocas, all kinds of stuff. So, um, yeah, all the mini trucks and off-road trucks, Bajas, all that stuff is all here. This one's crooked. Um, it took me a while to find everything, guys, because there was so much stuff that was just spread around from different mail calls different trades they were all just in random boxes and then with moving um yeah they all got lost so check this out i was super stoked um about these right here so i actually did a trade for these mini trucks right here these were all wheel variations so you got orange with the chrome five dots white five dots white uh chrome five spokes chrome saw blades chrome ultra hots and then of course coming down this row all kinds of variations this is a wheel error you got the saw blades and five spokes so it's the wheel error of this one and then of course you got the pikes peaks tacoma two wheel variations here lace wheels and chrome or the gold five dots with the chrome five dot and the 64 livery pins oils you got all this celicas the mr2s of course there's another mr2 i found um, these are from Wade, Fordsman 84, all the wheel variation and deco of the Lan the Lancia Stratos. You got the Panos, bunch of different color variations. You got the Tampo variations. Just insane, guys. Like, this wall took me forever. Um, I went down for the series, so this is all the mini truck series, full set. The full um, Spider-Man set, the Cult Racer set, and then of course the um, Factory 500 set, all 10 of those. You got all the Fast and the Furious coming all the way up. Two different variations of the Hero car. You got the MC5s in Chrome and five spokes. And then still going up, all the Fast and the Furious cars still going. Um, then we got all the Hot Wheels race team cars. Um, these right here, I thought these were so sweet. I forgot I had these. Check this out. Oh man, these are so clean. So these are the this is the Steel Flame. Just recently got that one not that long ago. But the Nissan Titans. Look at those. Yeah, those are super clean. And of course, you got the, the Chevys. Um, I try to put all the Hot Wheels race teams together all the way up, all the way down, and then starting out with all the bikes. All these, you got the Ducati, you got the Tomahawks, two treasure hunts, a couple treasure hunts down here. And then this is where all the exotics start, guys. So the Lamborghinis run all the way up, all the way up to the top. And then it transitions to Porsche. So these three rows are all Porsche. Everything is Porsche. This whole entire row, starting from the bottom, is all Zamax. So we got Zamax all the way up. I believe it's a 38 Zamax of different variations. And then this whole last row is Ferrari. Everything is Ferrari all categorized you have all the testerosis together the 355 all the 355 challenges you got the um, 355 spiders the 250s bunch of couple of variations of the 250s you got seven spoke five dots um, 308s 308 gtbs 348s 
Um, these are all wheel variations of the 355. And then coming up to the uh, 333s, multiple variations, F50s, um, F50 Spiders, got Enzos, and then of course, coming down this way, you have two different LaFerraris in red, silver, the 599s, the Berlinetta, the GTB 599, and then the Tomasimas, which is basically um, built off of Ferrari. So I kind of just tied it in there. So you got the wheel variations, tampo variations, color variations, those are all from Rich. And then this super, super rare Blackwing 355 or 333, which if you look is this one, which is supposed to come with a white wing, but a very rare variant with a black. That one we got from Grandpa Larry. Bone Shakers, full um, Gran Turismo and BMW set right there. So this is what I was able to put together just this weekend. So yeah, that took a long time. And then all of these are just regular treasure hunts. Got all kinds of treasure hunts from different eras. A lot of them are 2020, some are older. We got a short card treasure hunt and a standard long card treasure hunt Mustang. And then of course the Celine's and Hot Wheels Classics. So that is what I was able to do this weekend, guys. Took a long, long time. But there we go. So we're going to go ahead and flip us back around. And I just want to sit and chill. So let me go back and try to catch up to all these comments. You got Andre Cruz in the house. My man. 2017 was a good year. JDC had a split. Josh's Hot Wheels addiction. What's up, buddy? Um, Rapid's not here today. Probably not. I think it's nighttime over there, so he's probably in probably asleep. Um, Pussycat, nice job. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Just want to stop by and say what up. Thanks, man. Thanks for uh, stopping by. It's funny seeing collections and spotting card carded versions of the cars I still have from when I was a kid almost 10 years ago. Yeah. What RLC cars do I have? I only have... One, it is a uh, blue Mustang that I got from Ivan over at 55 Gasser. It's my only RLC car. Nitro Speed, what's up, buddy? All right, so Leo says, yes, nighttime. it's nighttime there. It's 11. Oh, man. Yeah, it's only like 4 o'clock here. What's up? I can't even read what that is, but uh, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Dane, what's up? It's about six or seven in the morn for rapid. Okay. Adrian, what's up, buddy? William. Beats Diecast. Man, I haven't seen that channel um, pop up on here for a while. Maybe you've tuned in. Maybe I just get lost up. But what's up, King Nut? Hopefully you guys uh, tuned in to the beginning of what I picked up today. What I was able to get in a trade. Rich says I might have more to gift you. Oh, my God. <laughs> dude nuts you're nuts not a fan 95 what's up buddy but yeah so definitely stoked to get the 64 nova so we're gonna go uh i'm gonna take you guys off again we're gonna go hang this up on the board i already cleared a spot so we'll put that well actually we gotta move this big old bad boy right here and put the Nova. Come on. There we go. Oh, so glad to finally get that thing. There we go. Yep, a new super treasure hunt. So, um, traded some extra loose for extra carded and loose Ferraris for that one and then of course some extra goodies within that trade so i did find that i had this one from rich which i was like oh i have it already but that's a seven spoke variation that's a five spoke variation so of course more variations just like these two buckets one's black plastic one's chrome yeah so 
don't be like me and go down all these rabbit holes guys it's it's not fun um i just found this one in my box i forgot i had this 57 chevy yeah just like uh the school busted school busted the zamac so it's another zamac edition um what else did i find in while i was sorting everything oh i found i missed all these mustangs from hanging up all the matchbox cobras a lot of the 68s a bunch of variations that i forgot to even hang up on the wall got some matchbox versions man so many four gts of course you got the tesla um chase card and then the one with the star man all variations of that one yeah just a lot so all these camaros all these camaros and mavericks all these are going to come off the four gts are going to come off there's more zamax up here um, all these are going to come off and i got to reorganize and get these mustangs on the wall of mustangs so taking a break from hunting too many open cases coming out oh yeah supernova yeah that's that's always the worst is when you're like it does kind of kill the vibe, but at the same time, um, it is what it is. I did pick up some new E-Case cars today. They're in my car still, um, but nothing crazy. I didn't find any uh, treasure hunts, no chase cars, no supers, but I got the mainline recolors I needed. I got the Big Air Bel Air in black, the Chevy square body, the tuned Chevy square body, um, the red... What do you call it? A86. But yeah. So got a couple of good things along with what I just traded with Alan. Super bad. Let's see. We would never know when we would stop collecting. Yeah, I know. I don't know when I'm going to stop because, I mean, it's you guys already know my collection. It's definitely, definitely out of hand. Um, I forgot I had bought this in Arizona before I left. This one's got some good ones. Kmart exclusive deco. You got the Mustang and another Ferrari sitting in there. So definitely a really cool 10 car party pack. Um, can you show us the finds? I came late. All right, Sean. So um, I don't have the bag of stuff that I bought, but this is what I was able to. I bought this from my buddy Alan. It's a 500 piece chase. M2, you got the 500 piece right there. So yeah, it's the 70, 70 Mustang Foos Gambler, super clean. Um, then we got the GR, which I bought from Target. There was two of them, left one, bought one. So yeah, there we go. Just need the Corvette to complete this one. Um, got this loose Super Aventador J. That Spectre Flame Orange is really nice. And this one right here, guys. God, I'm still stoked about this. Was not expecting him to just give me this. You know, because I gave him that big box just thinking, hey, man, here you go. Do what you want. I don't need them. Um, they're all extras. But, Alan, you are the man. So I cannot thank you enough. So there we go. The Ferrari 550 out of the Hot Wheels. Big cast. Uh, Jared says the M2 model Mustang is cool. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't collect M2s. I do just for the sole fact of the detail is just amazing. I mean, I have Auto Worlds down here, but M2s, they're just, they're like Johnny Lightning. It's kind of untouchable. You know, a lot of the older Johnny Lightning um, castings were just phenomenal. I mean, look at those. Those are all just so freaking epic. And then... Um, I kind of missed the plastic case version of the M2s, and then they, you know, you have your carded ones, which are still really good, but yeah. Beats Diecast found a Cherry Coke M2 Camaro hauler yesterday. Nice. And it was a chase. Any speed machines? Um, if I do, where would they be? I don't know. I got to really 
really step back and think. I've been dealing with this collection, trying to set it up for so long. Um, no, those are G machines. They're somewhere around here. Let me put you guys in this pistol grip real quick. It's easier to hold. There we go. I have the Tesla Super Treasure Hunt loose. Yeah, that was the very first one I found. Yeah, definitely do like that. We don't get Johnny Lightning, Auto World, NASCAR, Hot Wheels ID, and a lot of others in Canada. Oh, no. Oh, man. Um, yeah, that was another thing that me and Alan were talking about was like this liquid chase. Um, we'll show you on the back real quick if I can get one. Let's see. This one's loose, so we'll just use this one just for reference. So anytime you see on the back, it says look for the McDonald's chase piece. Just because you find that one doesn't mean it's the chase. It has to have the liquid chase color sticker and the chrome or the Spectra Flame paint. So it's more chromatic than the regular. The regular one's just blue. This one, you can see it's more of a blue chrome. So yeah, me and Alan were talking about that. And uh, yeah, he found the regular Dr. Pepper car, which I do want to find the chase for that one because one, I love Dr. Pepper, and two, it'd be cool to find another chase. So I've only found two in the wild. This one I actually traded for um, and got that one. I don't even know why I have the Ford Performance. Maybe it was just because Ford Performance Kill switch engage car definitely had to have that one. I seen them live back in 2007, so that one just hit home. And then of course you guys know I collect Joey Logano and a bunch of other NASCAR stuff. So if you guys want to see anything, let me know. Oh, Rapid is in the house. I saw the word juke. <laughs> uh, Sammy's asking how long am I going to be here in South Dakota? I have no idea. Um, you guys know with the military, it's it's all based on what they want to do with me. So. Um, luckily they put in a, it's, uh, basically they change the regs of when you PCS, which is permanent change of duty station. When you go somewhere, you have to be there at a minimum of four years, but you can be there longer than four years. So, um, being that I've only been here five months, I still got almost four years more to be here. Um, and then. Who knows, with the plans that my leadership has with me, I could be here the rest of my career, which is nine years, which I'm perfectly fine with. I'll do my nine years, retire, stay here permanently, and then yeah, I won't have to move. Well, I'll have to move out of here because this is government housing. But other than that, at least, you know, at least I'll know I'll be in South Dakota. Um, this was another one I did find in my bin that I forgot I had, the. 2000s treasure hunt series with the real rider chevelle it's a limited edition uh jared says you're in south dakota never been there yeah it's um it's super bipolar so the weather is cold and then it's nice and then it's cold and rainy and then it's nice and then it'll snow a little bit and then the next day it'll be sunny so we're currently uh dropping temperatures right now um and yeah it's supposed to snow pretty heavily this week big a says yes the nascar chase cars have the liquid color platinum sticker on the upper right hand side um yeah or just depending on where they put it this one's like right in the middle but yeah typically it's right around here and then of course you have the blue chrome or whatever paint it would be a spectra flame finish so this one i want to find as the chase because it's more of a gold and it looks really really good um, you can you could turn your network into a buy sell trade hub <laughs> All right, not a fans got to go peace out buddy. Appreciate you tuning in Leo's taken out. All right, peace kind of like North Carolina. Yeah, somewhat um, But yeah, so been pretty busy trying to get all this situated um, I really wanted to get some racing in with you guys today, but it's, I'm just not feeling it. I got all these trucks here. I finally opened up the new bone shaker one I got So this one looks really good out of the out of the package 
Um, these are extras. I got to get rid of these or do some customs with it. Um, Rapid is off of school for the next two weeks. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Looking good, man, says Zolo. What's up, Bruce? Thanks for tuning in. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, got these right here, of course. Had to set these aside. You guys remember this one? This is the car that started it all. Look at that. I know Rapid remembers this one. What up, what up? Jorge Delgado in the house. <laughs> so yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do with the 57 Bel Air Zamac. Got to figure out what I got to do with this one. Um, I had to remove the Arizona Trans Am off of uh, one of these spots. I think it was that spot. One of them. But yeah, this one I got or traded. I think I traded this one from Raul before I left Arizona. Definitely wanted the Arizona car. So there's that. And then all of my other stuff. This is all for Ivan, the Ferraris. Then yeah, it's basically it, guys. So far, this is... <laughs> The setup. That shelf's not for me. That's for so we can put our kitchenware stuff up. But it's doing good, guys. It's doing good. Hold on. Let me turn you guys around. Pistol grip. Um, I have the Bel Air Zamac. It's awesome. Yes, definitely. Ah. Put you on the actual tripod. <laughs> Sammy said uh, Rapid's parents are going to let him stay home real late or stay up real late. But yeah, guys, hopefully, um, hopefully y'all have had a great weekend. Anybody score anything good? Saw a couple people comment. They found some supers. <laughs> Stopping by to say hi. JLA, appreciate you, buddy. The green Chevy E-Case is getting snagged fast. Oh, yeah. Um, I did find that one today along with the tuned version of the square body. Uh, oh, Jason, I went to the Duxford Air Museum. Guess what I saw? A B-52. I've been there a few times. It is hella cool. Nice. B-52, man. Stratosphere. That thing is, that thing is no joke. Did a lot of damage back in the day. If you guys didn't tune in to JDC, he went to the museum. Um, was it Pennsylvania? Pretty, pretty sweet uh, aircraft up there too. Big Daddy Diecast got some funny cars in a trade. Nice. Static found some new E case Zamax. Ooh, nice. Uh, no, I have, I, I have a feeling that this Walmart's not gonna get any Zamax. Just, I can just tell by the way their structure is for getting in shipments. They're either behind all the time and they never get anything exclusive. They never get anything exclusive. So I have a feeling I'm not going to get any Zamax while I'm here. Um, Brian's saying hi to everybody. So Brian, we all welcome you. Death Beam gives me the letter I or L. <laughs> Static. Yeah, what's up, buddy? I know you're in there. I see you. I see you, my man. Found the 59 Impala. Nice. That's a good one, too. Uh, let's see. Rapid put a whole biography up here. You just, you got to check out JM Imports on YouTube. Uh, big lads of 1K GTRs, etc. England. They're based within 30 miles of me. I freaked out when I saw the Hall of Glory filled 1K GTRs. Nice, dude. Definitely got to link up with them, man. See what they got. I haven't found anything good on eBay in a year. And I haven't found any. Jeez. Yeah, I, I've i bought some stuff off eBay. A lot of it has been loose castings. Uh, if you guys remember, I did buy a bunch of the 93 Camaros, um, some Oldsmobiles, and I can't remember what else. But those are the only things I've bought off eBay. I'm trying to stay off it because once I know I'm in there, I'm going to be just hooked. 
I'm going to see variations of a cast, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go down another rabbit hole. So you guys already know I don't need any more cars right now. I'm still trying to completely uh, take everything out and set up. Hot Wheels Brother says you can send that Bel Air to me. <laughs> Chris Davis, what's up, buddy? Figured I'd stop in. I appreciate you tuning in. This was complete last minute. Um, like I mentioned in my post, I wasn't going to go live today. Um, but I really wanted to show you what I got from Alan. So again, a huge, huge shout out to Alan, another good collector in the area to trade with um, and keep my eyes out to hunt for him. So awesome. Always network, guys. Networking is good. Um, but yeah, network. Cool live show. Appreciate you, Lee. Definitely appreciate you tuning in. Racing next week, maybe. Um, yeah, so the next upload I'm going to do is a full breakdown and showcase of my collection. It's been highly requested a lot. And now that I'm comfortable with how my stuff's set up, I'll do a more in-depth tour of it, um, breaking down each category of cars, um, showing my variations, my errors, all that good stuff. So that'll be my next video. And then after that, we will have some racing um, I'm not collecting this week. I'm saving money. Yeah, definitely save the money. Uh, do you know where I can find good Hot Wheel cars? It's weird. Every bid I bid on or everything I see I try to buy is already gone from eBay. Um, I don't know if Hewitt's Hot Wheels is still putting up new stuff or new inventory on his, on his um, website, but definitely check him out. $2 a piece. Um, you pay for shipping, but... He, if he has it in there, it's yours. There's no bidding. You just click on it. You buy it, add it to the cart. So hewittshotwheels.com. Definitely check it out. Um, let's see. What else do we got? You're welcome. No way, dude. Huh? Again, the gift is from me, but I sent it on behalf of all of us. You're always there supporting all of us. Much deserved. Looks like a sidebar conversation. You need to get that Lego Mustang I posted today. I know, that lime green one. <laughs> but that looked like a lot of work. It looked like something I didn't want to do. But uh, I do have a small Lego one. It's the like a green bullet. I don't know where I put it. But I do have a little one I do want to put together. But I haven't put that one up yet. Uh, what store can I get Hot Wheels from? You can get them from... Uh, depends on where you're at. Of course, you got your box stores like Walmart, Target... Um, you can get Safeway, Fries, also known as Kroger, Albertsons, um, Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, 99 Cent Store, AutoZone, I don't know if Advanced Auto has it, um, Walgreens, CVS, almost any store that sells your standard items for personal use, all that stuff, they're going to have Hot Wheels. Lowe's has these pullback cars that I've been picking up like the four GT40s um, I did have the GR Supras the Chevelles all that I had got them from Lowe's so even Lowe's carries die cast um, all right beach says it didn't take long to put that Lego Mustang together you guys gotta check it out this thing is super cool how many Hot Wheels cars do you have and what's your favorite car um, so I'm right around the world, right around the realms of 5,000, maybe 6,000 cars. Um, I think I have well over 1,000 loose cars alone, and that's not even including the carded ones. So that's even breaking it down to the dioramas that come with like four or five cars. The five packs, I've got uh, 26 five packs, multi packs. So yeah, I'm right around five or 6,000 cars. Um, I got the red logo, red Lego bone shaker. It was on clearance. Nice. Yeah, that thing's expensive. It was like a hundred and something dollars. Um, there's a five pack Honda Civic coming out soon. Nice. Definitely got to keep my eyes up for that. Um, Wayne Parker, have found any more speed shakers? Mm, speed shaker. Um, let's see. Lance says, went to a local store in the mall the other day. They had some Hot Wheels mainline, but we're asking 6 to $10 each. Jesus. Yeah, don't do that. 
Um, when I first got here, I went to a candy store and they were $5 a piece. And I bought, I think like nine of them. It was like, I spent like 60 something dollars for some flying customs and some regular mainline cars. It was a horrible decision. Um, but yeah, don't, yeah, don't do that. Don't be sending, don't send me down the Lego rabbit hole, says Static. <laughs> Um, but my favorite car is the 65 2 plus 2. That is my favorite Hot Wheels car. Casting, the proportions are right. The variations are amazing. Um, yeah. So the 65 2 plus 2 is my favorite Hot Wheels casting. Yes, Jared. 6,000 cars. 6,000. Yeah, so you can see my headache of trying to organize all of this and just lay out everything. It, oh, my neck hurts just thinking about the stress level of resetting all this up again and I was trying to do it in such a fast way that you guys weren't waiting so long because I was like man they're probably wondering when I'm gonna be done so of course that being in the back of my mind trying to get everything wrapped up it took me like a year and a half to get my setup in Arizona the way I wanted it now that it's this is done now it's just all minor tweaks and adjustments and I'll just move these cars out, load up these cars. So it's a lot easier now, now that everything is already hanging up. Um, Earl Murphy says, can we do a trade? I'm a small collector, but I have quite a few cars. Me and you talked on TikTok, but you stopped responding. Ooh, you gotta definitely keep me engaged, man, because TikTok, I'm like in and out. I'll post every now and then, but I, at first, I was like, all right, I'm going to TikTok my life away. But trying to balance the channel, two Facebook pages, well, one Facebook page, a Facebook group that I started, um, two other groups I'm in, and uh, Instagram. Yeah, definitely just I left TikTok alone. So my best method of contact is, of course, my email, which is in all my uh, descriptions, and Instagram. Static says, oh man, the candy store vid. Felt bad after seeing those prices. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lee says, I think I have a 2 plus 2 you don't have. That's pretty bold because uh, uh, Grandpa Larry gave me a plethora of variations I was not even aware existed. So I'm curious on a 2 plus 2. Jesse is right. Jesse's Diecast Garage says, patience, 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 and you will find them. That is 100% true. So um, I only go hunting on Sundays now just because Walmart's so far from me. Um, I went today just casually. I wasn't even stressed out like, is there going to be anything? And I scored pretty good. So it paid off. Um, I waited, I don't know, like a week or two, and I was like, whatever. I'm not finding anything anyways. Um, and I was preoccupied with work and doing this. And then look, I stumbled across a bunch of uh, fresh E-Case cars. Um, let's see, Jeremiah, have you ever played Hot Wheels Unleashed? I have not, but I heard it is awesome. Uh, Drew Diecast, what's up buddy? He says, uh, good to see the new setup. It's been a while, appreciate you. Appreciate you coming back. Um, the BS for Build tribute custom brings me back so much. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That is what started it all. Kroger exclusive St. Patrick's Day 2 plus 2 was part of a set. I have that one. It's green, green and gold. I have it. It is, uh, it is sitting, it's like the fourth one from the bottom. Where, right where my finger's at. Yeah, it's over there. <laughs> Uh, would you rather a really nice clean interior which feels nice or drive good exterior but trashy interior? Um, I can tell you by experience my Mustang is super clean and nice on the outside but the inside there's my dash is broken because it wheel hopped real bad had to redo the suspension um, carpets all jacked up because I mean it's 18 years old things rattle because it's so loud so I'm living it, man. <laughs> nice exterior, but interior's not good. 
How many supers do I have? All right, guys, you ready for a field trip? We're gonna go down and look at all the supers because I'm pretty sure he's asking and also wants to see them. Let's see. Ugh, put my, put my chanclas, my chanclas on. <laughs> or flip flops, whatever you want to call them. Um, Got to run. Keep an eye on your email. Need to get a channel sticker out and put. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely get you one of that. Uh, Rich just sent me a pick and I just got it right now. I'm going to have to look at it later because it'll stop the live stream. But anyways, um, let's see. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen times three. What the heck is that? Uh, 43, 42, 42? Yeah, 42 supers. If my math is right, because three rows times that. Yeah, so we got this big old Big Mudder 2. You got the Fair Lady. RX-7, the BNR 34, BNR 32, Audi R8, the Sesto Elemento, the Pagani Huayra, 993, 356, Tesla Model S, BMW Z4, DMC DeLorean, Hover Mode, I don't think that's a super, uh, I think it is a super, yes, Gold Flame. Um, then of course you got the Roger Dodger 4 GT Gran Torino that actually doesn't have the uh, gold flame on there. So it is a suit. Let's see. It is a super, but there is no gold flame on there. So I don't know if it's a uh, on a basic card, but it's definitely missing the gold flame. So that was a cool error. Got that one from Ivan. Then you got the 49 Ford F1, the King Cuda, the Audi Quattro, the 55 Chevy, 57 Chevy, 69 Pickup, the C7 Z06, Stingray, Grand Sport, another Grand Sport, um, the Limited Chevelle SS, the Galaxy, the 2 Plus 2. Um, this one's just a regular treasure hunt, but still an awesome treasure hunt. Then you got the 67 regular treasure hunt 69 the 71 funny car super the 2005 super the mach 1 2007 this one was from honest diecast the 68 the 2020 gt500 the 2015 borla the cougar and that is it those are all my supers oh man there we go okay Chunklas, you must be Puerto Rican. No, Sammy, I am not. I am actually Spanish. Um, let's see. What else? Let me catch up on the... No flip-flop sliders. <laughs> All right, Lee, there you go. 42, so 42 supers. I have like four different recolors of the Bugatti Chiron. Nice. Um, should have the TH on the car. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, for the super... Let's see. Yep. I can't remember where they put it on this one. Is it? I don't even see the TH on this thing. Come on, focus. Yeah, I have no idea where it would even be. Because I do not see it. It's not on the hood. It's not on the roof. It's not on the deco. And it's not on the back. If anyone has this same super, you guys let me know where the TH is on this one. Because it doesn't have the TH and it doesn't have the gold flame, but it is Spectre Flame and it does have real riders. So definitely let me know. Um, yeah, there's no no flame at all on there. Um, but let me see. Someone asked if I can show them. Can you show how your cars um, have been hanged or hung? 
So on this side, it's all thumbtacks, very basic. Just really wanted it to be spread out so nothing gets covered up. So this is thumbtacked, all this is, but all this super tight stacking is, oh, excuse me, is on pegboard. And I'll show you over here because it's a lot easier to show. So when it comes to pegboard, this is what I do. So every other hole, you put a screw. Very simple. You can get like a pack of 200 of these for like $2. So just measure it out. Simply goes in there really easy and it won't damage anything. It's just free hanging right there. And that one. So you can adjust it. You can have it however you want. You're not um, drilling into anything. It's not a permanent fixture. It is very, very maneuverable and adjustable. So I use a little quarter inch screws. Um, Walmart actually ran out cause I bought so many screws for my stuff. Um, but yeah, any type of screw with a flat head. Oh, Rich says it's starting to snow. Oh man. So my wife's car is in the shop because, uh, yeah, you guys remember seeing that post where the trailer fell off and rear-ended our new car? So it's in the shop. She's going to drive my truck, and I was going to drive the Mustang. Well, now that it's snowing, it looks like I'm going to be drifting my way to work on some slick, bald tires. So nice. Um, Big Banana, how's it going? I'm a little late. Hey, it was definitely a last-minute thing. I wasn't going to do live um, because I just... I was just busy, didn't know if I was gonna do it, but I really wanted to let you guys see what I picked up today. Um, but yeah, I used to have the Ford F1 Super. Oh, you should have kept it. My buddy Raul hooked me up with this one. I think he found like seven or eight of them. Drive like grandma, yep, drive like grandma. Uh, Sammy wants the Galaxy, yeah, man, when I found that, Oh my God, I was stoked because it was in the very top back peg at Target. Like there was nothing else on the pegs. I look up and there it was behind one random fantasy car in the back. And I was like, no way. I was stoked. Just like when I found five of these, that was nuts. Um, I found like six of those. I found one of those, traded away, got it back from Ivan. Um, same thing with this one. Was able to get this one back in the collection. Um, this one I was able to get back in the collection after I gave mine to Derek. Um, oh yeah, I gave Kingnut one of these. Let's see, what else did I get multiples of? I think that was, oh, and the 356. I gifted those out to people that needed them. Um, so yeah, anytime guys, anytime you find an extra super, you can trade it, do whatever you want, but um, from past experience, if I find extras, I usually hook the homies up. King Nut was always the first one to get it. Like, that's just by default. Um, and then whoever would comment, like, hey, I need a super, then I'd work out a trade. So um, don't be afraid to trade a one for one. A lot of people see the value in certain supers, which, yes, I can see that. Like, the value of the 2020 GT 500 may be more or less than the 57 Chevy. But me, if you want this one and you trade me, I don't know, what's the weakest treasure hunt, super treasure hunt on this wall? This one, I'd be like, sure, one for one trade. Super for super, you paid a dollar, I paid a dollar. So to me, that's fair. But um, sometimes that can hurt you though. Um, I've seen people trade away some very very hard to find supers for brand new 2022 super it's like that's a little too soon um just like uh that dude what's his name on fast and fierce the too soon junior yeah i'm never gonna trade an old super for something new because you have more of a chance to find that new super than you do that 2015 or 2017 super you know so um just my little my little thoughts i'm debating on buying the red ferrari 599x super oh man 
definitely get it if you can get it for a good price definitely get it i wish i can get the super of this 599 that main line is amazing but yeah the super of that man my buddy alan has both supers in the gray and the red he was showing me I have an extra audi super which one the r8 or the quattro i'm definitely more of a fan of the quattro than i am the r8 which is right here. The R8 has some nice wheels. <laughs> Hot Wheels says you can send that extra to me. The super I want is the R8. Yeah, the R8 just doesn't impress me. It's, I mean, it's still a nice casting, um, but when it comes to being lined up next to a super like the Spectra Flame Pink or the Spectra Flame Red or Purple or Gold, you can't touch it like these black ones they they don't impress me but they're still beautiful supers like i'm not going to downplay it but when it comes to color i'm i'm more of a color what does this super look like like this galaxy eh it's not impressive looking this one's clean but it's not the best either but i would definitely choose the bnr 34 over the r32 only just because the color looks cooler to me so um sahil Ra rara sahil i'm just gonna say the first name first favorite ferrari um i am actually a big fan of the f50 f40s and f50s so um the f50 spiders are nice but when it comes to like the hard hard top like those but nothing can beat the f40 it is still a favorite, favorite Ferrari of mine. All the new ones are super exotic looking like the La Ferrari or the F12. All those are super cool, but the F40 has always been my favorite. The Galaxy is a bit of a basic old car. Yeah, very basic. Um, it was so basic that I gave one to Sammy as a sorry your package was late. I just gave it to him because I had an extra. He did the video, he was like, oh, Ford Galaxy, cool. And then he made a second video saying, holy crap, I didn't realize it was the Super because it just looks so much like the basic mainline. Um, WW Replicas, Jason, the room is coming along great. Thank you so much. And I still have your uh, Tampos right here. I still got to put them on a car. Come on, focus. Still got to figure out where which car I'm going to do and put those on there. But in the meantime, I have them stored right there. So didn't forget about them. Didn't lose them. Found two Matchbox Porsche 918 Spiders. It's lit. Yes, I agree. Um, I have mine right there. Yes, it is probably the best Porsche... Um, matchbox that has come out in a very long time the panameras were amazing um definitely liked those but the 918 was a really good choice for them definitely a good choice um you need to find the super nissan 2018 release the first super to have the, i did have that one i had the blue one um i had the blue r35 super and i traded to adrian for this now i know you guys are going to be like what why would you do that but i really wanted this ultra hot 67 like i really want it look at that the detail alone is better than a super in my opinion you guys may highly disagree but i'm the mustang hunter i wanted to do what i could to get some beautiful mustangs in my collection so we got this one from adrian as well as this red 65 coupe but yeah, I traded the R35 for it. Um, the R32 that I originally had, I traded away for a Mustang and then I got it back eventually from another trade. Uh, we need another RWB Porsche 930. Yes, definitely. I have the two premiums, but the RLC, I think Honest Diecast has that one and it's gorgeous. Custom Comic Shop, holla buddy, what's up? The Gran Torino Super on eBay one has for sale for 81 plus 24 shipping. Jeez. Um, 
Do you have one of the premium chase cars? Uh, you talking about this one? The new C8R out of the American scene? Yeah, I found that one, what, last weekend? Can't remember if it was last week. Oh, yo, yo, hello from the UK. We got Marius Hot Wheels Brothers from Texas. Do you have any black Gallardos? Um, I think I have a short card. Yep, this one right here. You got the short card satin black Gallardo. So yeah, I got this one. Um, I think that's the only black Gallardo I have. Yep. That's the only black one I got. Where's the Honda section at? I know. I know. But <laughs> in this box, is it over here? No. All Yeah, over here. This is all JDM. They fell over. But all of this is JDM. This is all Chevy and Corvettes and Chevelles and Novas. So that's all... American and JDM Camaro section that's also in there. Um, the only Camaros I have out, which I hate that I split it up, is this row right here of Camaros going up all the way up to the Hotbird. But then all of my funny car Camaros, um, split bumpers, 70s, 80s, even Copos, all of those are still in there. 67. The 67 Camaros, yeah, those are, um, I think I have a couple up here. So yeah, got the Kroger exclusive, the Flame Worldwide. That one's an exclusive. Got that one. This is a No Country Camaro. So the base has no country listed. That's a base variation of it. Um, and then all of my other 67s are in that box. And then I do have the new exclusive release, which is that one right there. So I do have Corvettes mixed in here, Chevelles. That, I don't know where that one went. Found my black Gallardo in the dollar bin. It's almost perfect condition. Nice. Yeah, I definitely want to get, definitely need to make some room, but um, this was a Porsche 935 error that I found. And then of course you got the two wheel variation and base color variation releases. Got the Zamac 934s. Um, but yeah, the Gallardo, I don't have many castings of that one. Um, I have a lot of loose ones sitting over here, which are these right here. Um, let's see. I got a white night shifter and a candy pack. It's tiny. Nice. Loving God 5 says, hello, welcome. The room is coming together nicely. Thank you. Yes, it's definitely, it's definitely been a lot. Um, I left a spot right here on this shelf for more of these M2 haulers. Um, I do have all my Fox bodies. Got my Chase. And then the Shelbys, the 66 Gassers, and the 67s. Yeah, 69, 67 to 69 best Camaro years. Definitely. Um, I'm more of a fan of the 67s more than the 69s. I just like the styling and the looks of the 67s versus the 69s. Do you have the ID car of the Pagani? Um, yes, somewhere. Is it, mm, is it down here? No, I can't remember what color was the Pagani. I No, I don't have it, that's that pearlescent purplish one do you do a r34 versus gt3 rs <laughs> i knew someone was going to want some racing but i have some stuff on the track nothing set up this came loose um 
I got to redo all this, but the track is kind of wavy for me moving it. So that's why we're not doing any racing today. Um, so yeah, Flyo, no, we're not doing any six lanes today, but I will be making a race video so we can get back into the King of the Tower style races. Uh, what's the best R34 that I have? Um, aside from the Supra's um, R34, um, I think my favorite one is, oh, it's not here, is it? Nope. It's a red one of this. And here's the main line of that super. But the red one, it's like this. I don't know, really digging these R34s. But aside from the Supra, I don't know, I have a bunch of R34s and 32s. KDR 30s, all those are still in that box. Hey, I got that blue R34, there you go. You can't have, uh, you can't, I don't know. If you're a car guy, you have to respect the Skylines. It's just a legendary car. Seeing there's going to be a Zamac Corvette coming out. Ooh, nice. Which one? Because I have a few Zamac Corvettes. Room is looking good. Thank you so much, Nitrous Diecast, for tuning in. I have the Matte Black Flame Maverick. I think it's a Maverick. Yes. You're talking about uh, this one. This is a short card. Then you got the Kroger Exclusive. Um, then you got the Soon Kang version. And then the opposite Soon Kang version, the Gretty, that beautiful burnt orange, the opposite, the recolor of the Gretty. Um, and I think that's all of the custom Mavericks. No way dude's gonna grab some grub. Appreciate you tuning in. 69 Copa Corvette. Hey, 69 Stingray, I gotta send you that Corvette. Um, I still have that red loose one for you. Um, so give me some time, I'll send that out to you. I know you needed it for a custom. Or was it for Eddie that needed it for a custom? One of them. But I still have it, it's sitting in there so I did not forget. Nice Ford Maverick Hot Wheels. Yeah, I definitely do like those a lot. Um, and of course, when I found one variation, then I found another recolor, and then I was like, well, might as well start trying to find them all. And I think I have all of them so far. I think this is a short card. Yeah, this one's a short card version. Can we see Supras? Um, they're under here. But there's only three of them. The rest of my Supras, all my JDMs, guys, all the JDMs are in that box. I haven't been able to put them out. Like I said, I have all my trucks and off-road and mini trucks and motorcycles, exotics, Porsche and Ferrari and bone shakers out. But no room yet for the JDM collection or the Chevy collection, which if you look at it from this part here over is all Chevy and Corvettes and Camaros and Chevelles. So your room looks way more stock than hobby stores around me. <laughs> it, it is no lie. I think I have more than both Walmart, Target, and every store in South Dakota in my area. I think I have way more than what they have in inventory. Do you collect green light? Um, I do have a few green lights. Um, let's see, where are my green lights at? I think they're over here. Only a few. I don't really go out and collect them because they're only at Hobby Lobby. Well, that's where I've only seen them. Um, so I got the Boss 429 out of the Busted Knuckle. That's a green light. Um, the Fox Body from Home Improvement. That one was actually at Walmart. Then I got the Gone in 60 Seconds Eleanor. The Falcon Mustang. The Test Car. Then you got the Charlie's Angel, Mustang 2 Cobra, John Wick. And I think that's it. I think those are my only green lights. Um, I feel like I have one more somewhere. Oh, no, I got two more right here. You got the uh, GT350 and the 2021 Mach 1. So yeah, that's it. That's all my green lights. Do you collect my still cars like Mustang? I do have some, but um, other than 
those like smaller my still ones yeah no i don't have anything else 69 stingray that's a fact where are all the r34s at i know all my jdms are in this box and i really don't feel like lifting it because i lifted this one just to move it and everything fell over everything just fell over so i was kind of bummed about that my still aren't very high quality yeah they're not um, the only ones that were worth anything to collect was the larger scale. Um, but even now, it's mainly Jada and M2 that have the good quality. These Maestos right here, like this 118 2020 and that Cobra Jet, those are really good quality. But those are 118 scales. Those should have the top-notch quality. Um, oh, yeah, and this is also a green light, the Bullet. So many box of cause. <laughs> uh, sometimes we'll swap a Maisto to make it look like Hot Wheels. Yeah, I've done that with a Corvette. I did a red Corvette my, uh, from Maisto. And yeah, it looked like a really, really clean version of the Hot Wheels. The GT500 looks sick. Yeah, that one was from Kingnut, his dad hooked me up with that look at that man that thing is wicked any premiums yes so i have two totes over here let's see this one i think this one's full of premiums yeah this one let's move this up here so this one's got all my haulers got the Dodge Demon, you got the BNR32, you got the Back to the Future car, um, but down here is all the other stuff I forgot about. I'm glad, you, oh, I'm glad you got it. So you got the Porsche 550 Spiders, but here are the two packs. This is my, oh, I got to take this out. This is that signed Carol Shelby two pack, um, but you guys remember these? You got the BNR32 two pack. You got the Borla two pack. Um, these are all my other haulers. Ford GT. You got the Comet. Um, you got the Escort Rally. The Boss 302. You got the 32 Ford. There's a Fast 9 car, random one that I threw in there. The Bone Shaker. forgot about this one. Um, you got the Launcha. It's not the Lanica Error. And the Corvette Hauler. Let's see, I think there's more down there. Ooh, yeah, those are those, those, are those vintage packs. Super hard to come by. Um, and then this one is full of all of the car culture boulevard premiums more back to the future premium cars um yeah so let's go ahead and put this back in here we'll put the porsche 550s up for now and yeah this one this is that autographed one but Aside from that, all of my other premiums I opened up and are in this jammer. A lot of these I got from Rich Loose. So these are all premiums. Um, this side is all premium. So yeah. You took the OG workbench with you from Arizona. Yes, I did. Definitely did. You can, you can literally spend an entire day looking at die cast in your room. Yes. Because then I always find stuff that I forgot about. Like even down here, guys. Down here. I got another tote of castings and the Flying Custom 10-pack. Look at that. Random Zamac. Just go ahead and put that right here. Um, this tote is... Let's see, this has more Chevys and Camaros, the 93 Camaros, Corvettes, BMWs. That one's awful. 
This one is all my loose cars. You got the Miatas, whole bunch of Miatas, WRXs. Yeah, a bunch. This is my out of sight, out of mind because I still have way too much crap. And then this box that I just got from Rich, still full. So, yes, that's a fair statement. You can definitely spend all day down here and still find die cast. So let's go ahead and open this up. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are new to the channel and never saw this holy grail piece. Let's see. Where are the JDMs going? Um, I'm trying to buy another shelving system like this, maybe another pegboard area, and this whole wall right here is gonna be JDM. All right, hold on guys. A mail call for myself I know because I completely forgot to take this out of the package this is like Christmas all over again but this one's definitely have to uh, this one definitely needs to go in a display case Come on. hold on guys this one-handed one is not good for this. All right. We got to go two hands on this one. Jeez. This masking tape is super strong. Hopefully a lot of you guys remember this one. Um, and if you're new to the channel, this is definitely my holy grail piece you can see how crazy I wrapped it and taped it up I even put a cardboard to protect not cardboard but plastic sheeting okay let's see never seen it before all right so yep yeah. here we go there we go, the 35th anniversary Shelby Cobra. And it is signed by Carol Shelby and Paul Lamott from um, American Graffiti. So there you go, you got the Shelby Daytona and the Dodge Viper. There you go, and this is collector, uh, let's see, focus, 4114, yep. So I had another one of these was not signed and I had to sell it to Cubbyhole in order to buy a couple castings I really wanted. So they bought it from me and of course this one I'm never ever parting ways with. This is my holy grail piece. Definitely a holy grail piece. So we'll just set this off right here. But yeah, so those that haven't, haven't uh, seen that before, that is my signed carol shelby two pack for the 35th anniversary so there we go but uh, i say maybe five more minutes guys and i'm going to wrap this up i gotta cook some steak and some salmon for the family i'm not a fan 95 says so i have the zamac r34 Ooh, nice i don't think i've seen a zamac r34 uh, let's see what zamac Mm, yeah, no, I got a 300ZX. Let's see, JDM wise. 300ZX. Um, what else? CRX. RX7. Subi. A couple Camaros. Bugatti. Yeah, I don't have uh, any Nissan besides the 300ZX. How did you hang those cars up? Um, I showed this earlier, but it's very, very, very simple. Pegboard, buy a box of like 100, 200 screws, and literally, that's all I use. So every other hole on a one inch square or one inch hole gives you the perfect layout to stack them like this. So every other hole, just put the screw in there, easily adjustable, 
and it hangs and since it's a flat head it doesn't affect the card that's sitting on top of it so that's how I display all those can we get some leaks on the fast 10 progress <laughs> I think the 69 Corvette Zamac it he's talking about ooh nice yeah the 69 that'd be really clean I have this Corvette Zamac I think that one's a 2019 um, and I think I have one more. I know I have, oh, I'm actually missing one. I have the Grand Sport Zamac as well. It must be in the Corvette section. Osvaldo says, that's how I feel with the Nissan box you gave me. Love you, bro. Yeah, no problem, man. Um, if you guys didn't know that Nissan R32, 33, and 34 diorama box, the one that everyone was looking for, um, I had my only one. Osvaldo really, really needed it in his collection. And I was really trying to find him one. Um, but you can't find them for a good price. You know, I got mine and I was like, you know what? I just gave it to him. I just thought it was the right thing to do. He wanted it more than me in the collection. I was just going to open it. And then, yeah, so I gifted it to him. And I'm glad that is his holy grail piece. Um, just grabbed a big old, <laughs> a big old bowl of ice cream. Nice. The Zamac Corvette is one I'm going to need for the collection. Can't get them up here in Canada though. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. So I sent uh, Ten Lizard Talks diecast, also known as Willie. I sent his box probably a week and a half ago. Um, I don't know if he's got it yet. I know they said since it has to go through customs, they won't give me a tracking number. Um, but man, it is expensive to send to Canada. Super expensive. It was like 56 bucks, and we got her to talk it down to, I think it was like 40, $44 or something. So definitely uh, not cheap to send to Canada. Ooh, 69's got the GTR set. Won it in a contest. Nice. Mathis Craft says, hey, I live in Canada. Nice. Um, yeah, this is the Nissan set that I won off the raffle from uh, Dotson Man Diecast. These are all customs. So he built this Nissan diorama, raffled it off, and I won it. So it's definitely an awesome piece to have. Nitrous Diecast. We got all Canadians here. Love it. Love the support. Got collectors from all over. Snail mail. Expensive. Yep. Definitely, um, you definitely got to keep me posted when you get that because I, I hope you really like the extras I threw in that box for you, Will. Uh, lampshade is almost done and coming your way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He says it's almost done. Um, but yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Let's see. One more. We got Lee Child. When I was a kid, my neighbor... Uh, who was an airline pilot had a red 67 fastback Ooh, nice ah uh, but yeah guys i i definitely stoked that you all tuned in uh we got 54 of you all in here and 53 likes so i definitely appreciate all the love and support um yeah like i said this was a last minute live stream wasn't gonna go live but really wanted to showcase what we picked up so real quick before i go um do you watch mountain 66 diecast yes i do watch him um, where's the where's the car parking lot you made along with the diorama? It is over there. Um, Trenton, Missouri. Yes. I live in North Dakota. Nice. Well, I'm in South Dakota, so we're neighbors. Um, but here we go. GR Super Hauler. Just to wrap this up, guys. Pick this up at Target. The Loose Super Aventador J from my buddy Alan. We got the 64 Nova from him as well. We got the 500 piece Chase 70 Foose Mustang. We got the 500 piece Chase sticker right there. So there we go. Beautiful, beautiful casting. And of course, the best for last, this massive Hot Wheels Ferrari 550. Look at this, man. The fact that it's a Ferrari is pretty sweet, but the biggest thing is it's a Hot Wheels 
Ferrari diecast. So you guys already know that whole story. Ferrari and Hot Wheels, no longer a thing, probably never gonna be a thing again, but that is what we got today. So I am super stoked. Oh, and also the little Texas Department State Trooper motorcycle, being from Texas, hits home. So definitely appreciate you guys tuning in um, for a last minute live stream. So thank you all so much. Love every single one of you and I genuinely do. Um, a lot of you guys know when you reach out to me and you ask me simple questions of trades or what you're looking for, I'm always there to help. So definitely don't blow up my emails and all that with random, um, hey, send me this, 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 and that. Um, but if you're looking for something, let me know. I will definitely try to do my best to help out as much as I can. But that is all we got for today, guys. Stay tuned for my next upload, um, which will probably be tomorrow or the next day. It's going to be a full in-depth tour of my collection and display in case you guys missed out on all the other recaps from today um, and then some more racing. So that is all I got for today, guys. Rich, love you, buddy. Appreciate you tuning in as well. Um, and everyone else, Wayne, Jared, not a fan, you got Willie, you had all kinds of heavy hitters. Flyo um, says, have you seen the still Steve Wilkins treadmill Hot Wheels race? Uh, I've watched a bunch of those. They're actually pretty entertaining and I thought about doing that because we have a treadmill just sitting right over there. Um, but yeah, so love you all, appreciate you all tuning in, stay safe, have a great night, great morning depending on where you're at and stay tuned until next time. So. We got a new intro coming in. It's a little bit of tweak, tweak uh, footage, little imagery and some music. So yeah, that is all I got. So until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.